Okay, here we are back in. Oh, I say we. Timba's already gone to bed. <laughs> back in from a puppy play date. These are real important because it helps these pups learn to play or not play with other puppies and it's part of their socialization so it's always great to get around another puppy so they can have an opportunity to greet nicely uh, be able to play and then to come out of the play and sit and be really nice it's not always easy because all they want to do is play so uh, these puppy play dates are great uh, but um no, maybe there's a good side to it. Wears her out, <laughs> which is good. So she can take a nap, or really, she's down for the evening. And uh, then I can get some work done because I think she's she feels that I'm her playmate because I'm the only one around. It's just me. I don't have another dog for her to play with. And so we have to arrange these puppy play dates so she can get exposure to other dogs. So it went really well. Uh, she still needs some work because she gets very, very excited when she sees another puppy and she's supposed to sit and behave until she is allowed to go and play. So she's down for the night. Uh, she'll probably be snoring. Yes, she's a puppy that snores. So another little fun fact about Timba that you don't already know. But this is conversation has been on my mind all day since Morel posted this morning in the 90 day video journey. And Morel, thank you for that. Loved your vulnerability, loved your authenticity on how you're feeling in the moment. Fabulous. Bring those to this 90 day video journey. And I think as you saw, there were so many people jumping in and giving ideas, suggestions, and kudos to you for being able to move forward. And just like I said, hey, look for more of these so you can practice. And then it'll just become a mic drop moment for you. And it isn't, it isn't that feeling of feeling better than somebody else. That, that's not what I meant by mic drop. Please don't misunderstand that at all, folks. What I want to share is something that came out of the conversation for me. And Morel, you have a heart of gold, absolutely a heart of gold. And you, at times, wear your feelings on your shoulders. And I totally relate to that. For me, what happened was the way I was raised. We were raised to care about what everybody said and make a judge uh, excuse me make adjustments based on other people's judgment does that sound a little screwed up absolutely has it taken me a while to work through some of those old paradigms absolutely and they are old paradigms they're not even mine it is a concept that my parents took on probably from their parents and they thought that was the right way to do things or the right, right way to respond or the right way to even care. So I want to talk about words. When we say we don't care, I don't care about what somebody else thinks. You know, I disagree. I think we all care at some level. I hope, for goodness sake, that we all care. If we didn't care, then this world would be in a bigger heap of a mess than where it may be heading. So let's turn the tide now. Let's keep caring for other people's hearts. Let's keep caring for other people's struggles, for other people's frustrations, for other people's pain. 
to me, I associate the word care with compassion. Well, but how do we divide that and keep it separately from no attachment to other people's judgment, whether we feel that they're judging us or whether they're, they're just judging in general. So I work with a lot of words that help me and I'm gonna keep care in the realm of compassion and I am going to work on my non-judgment in the world of it really doesn't matter to me. So when I say it really doesn't matter to me, it feels in my body no attachment. No attachment to the outcome. No attachment doesn't have anything to do with me. And it is really Or let me say this in a different way. It puts me and the way I feel, my energy, my body, in a place of not even judging them. It doesn't matter to me if someone doesn't agree with the line of work that I'm in. I have a cousin that thinks that I'm involved in a pyramid scheme. <laughs> I don't know how many times I've told him that my position with this company is no different than a contractor or a counselor that's contracted to do work. It's what I do. And I just think it's funny when I talk about you know, an online education company, he jumps to conclusions. But it doesn't matter to me. I'm not there to prove him wrong or prove him right. I'm not there in the conversation to impart my beliefs on him. You know, if he wants to, he can Google it. And I share that with a lot of people as well. But I do it in a place of, it really doesn't matter to me. If you want to know more, just Google it. And that works some of the time. Uh, what usually happens is I find that people don't even actually go and Google it. That cracks me up. I'm a Googler, let me tell you. I Google stuff all the time. But for me, I want to stay in the realm of caring, of compassion. But where I want to shift from as often as I can, I want to shift from being attached to other people's thoughts, perceptions on anything. It doesn't matter whether it's me, it doesn't matter whether it's politics. It doesn't matter to me. They're on their journey to discover what matters to them. They're on their journey to find what their passion is. They're on their journey to impart the world with care and compassion. So thanks, Morel, because that started my whole day of thinking about what I wanted to talk about tonight. And sorry I went a little long with this video, but all I ask is if there is something that pops up in your world, a word that in your body, I mean, you feel it. Morel felt it. She felt how, she, how what was going on in that conversation well up in her body. And in that moment, in that moment, it's like, do I care? Yeah, I really care about this other human being. Does it matter to me what she thinks? 
she knows about my business? Not one bit. Find those words that shift that energy for you. And I hope this helps someone out there this evening to just shift your words so you shift your energy and you stay in your power. And Morel, keep sharing out here in this 90 day video journey, your vulnerability, your authenticity. And I know those become overused words, but both of those come with an unbelievable, unbelievable, no, a very believable knowing that we are on the right track. And maybe tomorrow I'll talk about inauthenticity, fake, fake news. We've heard a lot about that. So stay authentic, stay honest, stay real in your conversations with everyone out there, whether it's maybe a lead that you're talking to or an app that you're having a conversation with or a member or a member of your family, your biological family. Boy, they can really test us, can't they? Ooh, that's another good video. Okay, I've talked way too long. Have an amazing evening, folks, and I just love this community. Keep it up, keep it up, folks.